Going on Collector's Optical 20 here for another Hot Toys video review. This time it's not the Civil War version, but this is just a regular version of Ant-Man. I know you're wondering why, but I just got lazy from the intro, okay? So give me a break there. But uh, nevertheless, I want to thank uh, Casey for uh, creating me this figure. I've always wanted an Ant-Man, and this is kind of sold out now if you go to a Big Bad Toy Store. But if you uh, if you want an, an ant band, it's still available. The, the Civil War version, just go click the link below and, you know, you can pick it up at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, as far as the packaging, let's start off. I really like the, you know, the look of this packaging. It says Ant-Man wrapped around the box. Um, kinda, you, you know, if you buy something from a specific line, for example, you know, Avengers or Civil War, they have this uh, themed box. You know, he's the only one from his movie. So it... Yeah, I wish they would release Yellow Jacket because it looks like a cool figure as well. But it kind of reminds me of the 80s themed movie. It's pretty cool. You know, I, I, it's a different tone from, from all the Hot Toys boxes that I got. And as far as accessories, he comes with a variety of hands. Fisted hands, a hand that's kind of like pressing the button so it goes small. I call it my Spidey hand. So if, if you want to put him in a, in a cool pose or something, you can use this hand. Um, two of this, um, I don't know, chemicals that he used for his suit. I don't know what those two bars are from and this disc he throws that to make uh, I know the blue one makes the object larger the small uh, the bread bone makes the object smaller and obviously he comes with the uh, with this oval not oval stand I'm sorry but kind of like the new oval stand for Marvel figures which is kind of like this uh, it, it's it's okay uh, I'd rather prefer the oval stand this is more I would say if you only collect a specific figure you know like let's say one or two uh, but it once you come across once you have like 10 15 figures it becomes annoying because you know, now you're trying to cram them up and you know the stand takes up a lot of space uh, as far as this mini figure it's really cool that they included something like this uh, it, he's not articulated but it's still pretty cool paint application um, if you've seen the previews for the uh, Civil War version it kind of it's kind of cool what they did they, they put several variations on a, on a different um, character let's say Hawkeye and all that stuff so he, he kind of have some different poses and all that stuff but as far as this figure how it looks like I think it's pretty amazing uh, I actually like the look of this figure more than I like the uh, Civil War version um, and I know I'm not by myself here uh, there was a time where it, this guy all of a sudden went you know sold out on on, on Sideshow and uh, Big Bad Toy Store and then the price just skyrocketed I think even up to three hundred dollars the retail price originally i believe was 229 and um you know that's that's a bit surprising because this is ant-man um he's not exactly what i would call a, a popular figure but a really nice figure and then they saw civil war version it's really not i would say blowing anything you know everyone out of the water it kind of gave them the Loki treatment where, you know, the new Loki comes out, but people are still wanting the Avengers version. You know, I don't see this being $500 anytime soon, but it's holding its value as of now. Uh, and the reason I um, kind of held out on reviewing or owning this figure is because I was waiting for the Civil War version. Because one thing, as much as I like the look of this this outfit, this costume, I like the... Uh, the leather part I like the uh, the color combination the, all the minor details in it one thing that I do uh, do hate is the fact that it comes with very limited articulation and I was waiting for the Civil War version just to see if it's if it solves the problem but I saw some reviews that it didn't so you know my reaction was like you know what why not jump on I always wanted the Ant Man. I think he's an interesting character I kind of like I really like the movie not as much as I like, let's say, the Dark Knight or so, but it, it's a good, you know, they're not trying to be a uh, serious tone or anything. So it's it's a good change of pace, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy. But uh, as far as, uh, let's say, if you do photography and all that stuff, he's a nice subject because, you know, even the larger size, you can make it look like he's running from, you know, like objects in your household that would make him seem smaller if you know what i mean so that's that's a pretty cool subject if you are um you know into photography or even cinematography and all that stuff for videos um as far as the helmet i actually like this design better as well as compared to the civil war version um he kind of looks like an ant um even on the civil war version but he his his kind of mouth is kind of longer on that version and i i like the uh, idea that it 
I don't know, I just like the look better. You know, let's just put it this way. Uh, they both suck as far as articulation. So, you know, in my mind, might as well. And, and the head sculpt behind this mask, in my opinion, is better than the Civil War version. Uh, however, Civil War, you know, included this separate head sculpt of Paul Rudd, which on prototype, it looks horrible. Nah, I wouldn't say horrible, but it looks like Ben Affleck. Then the actual uh, figure came out, and he doesn't look Ben Affleck anymore, but he looks, he has some crazy eyes, which is, yeah, I guess it's okay. But I don't know if, I, I, I would still pick this one up, you know. Um, obviously, it's sold out now, but if you can get them for pretty similar price, I would go with this, you know. However, I, I still want to take a, a crack at that figure too, you know, just want to check it out firsthand. As far as his helmet, it's pretty cool. It's it's it looks metallic, although it's not. The paint application is really great. Uh, all the minor details, though, you, you can see here. These tubes are kind of reminds me of my Predator figures, where you know move the head and it pops up. Specifically, the uh, uh, Scar Predator 2.0. Uh, it, it's not gonna damage the figure, but it's just kind of annoying. But it, you know, at the same time, it's there's no resistance on putting them back. So. Just put it back you know if you own this figure it's not that big of a deal i actually prefer it to disengage because imagine if it's there permanently and you try to move the head of the figure it would it would break it and then as far as um you know his face there you go you, you see it there it's pretty cool i actually like i said prefer this head sculpt i don't know why they just didn't take this head sculpt you know and put a hair on it and the, the, the toe, you know, you kind of have this smirk on his face and this one goes down as well. I, I think this is spot on Paul Rudd, in my opinion. Uh, it, then it changed, you know, I'm going to turn off the lights here so you can see the skin tone. It's pretty awesome, you know. Uh, and then we saw the prototype and it looks like Ben Affleck. I was like, why didn't you just take this head sculpt and just make it bigger? I don't know, I don't get it. And as far as the light, uh, one thing that I do hate about the, the head sculpt, I don't hate it, but... It was like, dude, you could have done a better job at this. You saw the light right there. That's the reason why the light is not that bright. You know, it's it's kind. Of, they kind of hit it. I get it. Um, I get the idea behind it. Uh, it's it's almost forgivable to be quite honest with you because I I don't mind that it it's not overpowering the red, but it's there and you can barely notice it even on a dark surface. So I was like, okay, if you're gonna do something, you know, might you might as well do it right. Uh, and this is the um, third-party head sculpt. It's, it doesn't come with a figure, but Casey gave it to me. Um, it's really nice. Um, I think it's, a, I honestly think it's a better likeness than the uh, Hot Toys one. And but I don't know how to put it on. As you can see there, it's like a hollow head sculpt. Maybe I gotta buy a neck or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple of poses, and when I throw, uh, when I say a couple, that's I, that's what I need. And that's what I mean. Just really two poses, because there's really not much you can do with this figure. The legs can barely move. Um, it, it kind of reminds me. I own Batman Returns. I sold it not because I hate the movie or anything. It's just that it, it feels like a statue. Uh, I kind of want to own it one of these days again, but I really don't want to pay for it. Maybe I'll do a trade or something. But who knows? Uh, as far as him moving, you know, I kind of, I kind of throw in a post where he's kind of climbing something or maybe falling down. I don't know. His hands can move quite good, you know. I wouldn't say freely, but you know, better than his legs, obviously. Um, his knees can bend. The thing is, you know, the legs you just really don't get any movements from there, and it's unfortunate because the character Ant Man, even on the movie. He did a lot of running and jumping, you know, climb, climbing stuffs, obstacles, and all that stuff. And um, they made a figure like this. Yeah, he looks cool. Don't get me wrong, but you can't even do, put him on a fighting post. Let's say, let's say you're trying to recreate the Civil War um, scene where he's running, and you know, I mean, maybe you could if you force the legs, but you put the risk of breaking his his suit. So. And uh, this is the majority of the posts that you're going to see on forums and, uh, you know, everyone. It's a pretty cool looking post where he's about to press the button. You know, it, it's nice. It's um, it's pretty minimal. You know, you can put him on a, on a detolf and he 
put him like this and it's gonna be cool uh, it doesn't put any stress on the um, on the suit so this is the majority of the pose that you're gonna see from it's kind of like owning Mandarin and every Mandarin pose that you see him he's sitting on his throne all the Mandarin can actually move you know unlike this guy but it's kind of like forces you to do that pose because it's it's the coolest thing same thing for him you know I, I think it's this pose is pretty good gets the job done but I wish he would have had more articulation that's that's the only gripe about about this figure I think the outfit is awesome I think it's really great I really like all the details that it comes with the light could have been done a lot better um, the suit is also great like the movie you know then loved it um, but you know now if you're juggling the in between this and Civil War version obviously the Civil War is more easy to get at this point you know you can go to any re uh, you know the, the retailers and pick one up but I would say take check this one out too um, if it's cheaper or you can get them used you know of same price this is not bad not bad at all um, if it you know trying to I I try to get the best version of every character that I can uh, it, and it doesn't matter to me whether in the same line or not I in Marvel I, I'm I have a love and love hate relationship with Marvel you know at one point I kind of feel like they are just you know change not it's not Marvel's fault but you know, introducing characters and Vision, he looks the same. I'm glad that Hot Toys didn't make another Vision. That, that would be extremely stupid in my opinion. Uh, some people are going to buy it, don't get me wrong. People buy Iron Man who they painted exactly the same uh, suit but with a hint of red, with a brighter red and people would buy it. And hey, if that's your thing, go for it. At least, you know, this is a different character. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of guilty with that too. But I buy Iron Man, you know, I bought 42 and 43, so... At least they have some, you know, differences. But you can own this in the Civil War version if you really like Ant-Man. So they're, they're different enough to warrant a different purchase. So thank you for watching, guys.